Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VII. In the last part, we got Vincent's final limit break and final weapon. And this part, let's dive. Now, like I said in the last part, I'm going to go ahead, visit Rocket Town, get Sid's final weapon. Or at least I think it's Sid's. I'm not sure. For all I know, it could be Yuffie's. Because I don't know where hers is. And then after that, I'm going to show you how you can get back into Midgar, get Tifa's final weapon, and among other things. But to get Tifa's final weapon, we're going to have to have, obviously, Tifa in our party. We haven't gotten a final weapon yet that doesn't written, ba -ba -ba -ba, that doesn't involve having the party member outside the party. Because, I mean, so far there's Barrett's final score. We had to have him in a... Well, I guess there's the HP shout, but that doesn't really count, does it? Because I'm pretty sure a lot of you don't even have Kate Sith in your party ever. Hmm. Ah, well. And I'm also going to go ahead and unequip Yuffie's ribbon. So that way we can give it back to Sid. Greedy little materia thief. Taking everything now, it looks like. Yeah, I'm still holding that grudge against her. I still don't like the fact that she steals your materia. But at least she's warming up to us. I think. Legitimately this time. Well, either way, let's go ahead and dock. I will get you, Ultima. Just just wait patiently. Trust me, I will. And turn right around. And head to Rocket Town. And since it's no longer called Shinra number 26, because Shinra number 26 has just pretty much collided with me here and did nothing. We're going to go ahead and visit Rocket Town. But first, I need to get Yuffie's ribbon off. So, Vincent, sorry buddy, you're going to have to leave the party for a second. Equipment. Give me that ribbon. Sid, you may have it. There we go. And arrange by type. And get out of our party, Yuffie. There we go. And with that, we are going to head into Rocket Town. Or... There we go. It's pretty weird. I tried to go into it by the rocket launch pad and it didn't let me. Anyway. Hey, old man. Are you sad? My. My precious rocket. It's gone. Talk to him again. Hm. I know. No matter how much I look, the rocket's still gone. But I just can't stop it. Just call it an old man's folly, if you will. And talk to him again. Sorry to get you into this. For me, it's kind of a hobby. But, out of appreciation, let me give you this. And we get the Venus Gospel. I wish you'd take care of it and use it. The Venus Gospel is Yuffie's final weapon, I think. Actually, by the name of it. Because Vin... I mean, Vincent's. Sid's is the... Oh no, it is Sid's. Huh. Well, there's the Spirit Lance. That's actually the name of an ultimate weapon in another Final Fantasy game. I won't tell you which, you're going to have to figure it out on your own. And the Venus Gospel is pretty ridiculously strong. It's a big upgrade. In fact, we kind of still need to upgrade him to something. It's just difficult to figure out because what on him do I want to get rid of? I guess he doesn't need ice or poison for that matter. I still want Destruct and Ultima on him. Destruct is actually more helpful than I thought it'd be. Um, Gravity I want to master before I get rid of it. So, yeah, I'll get rid of these. Go ahead and move that enemy skill. Here. And equip him. With... The Partisan. There we go. And with that... He's stronger. Works for me. And I still don't know where Yuffie's final weapon is. It's a shame, really. Anyway, now I'm going to head to the digging site. You're probably looking at me sideways thinking, well, didn't we do everything that we could possibly do at the digging site? Wrong, my friend. Let's go ahead and land and go in. We need to stop by here first to go ahead and get into, well, Midgar. 
The lunar harp is somewhere in the ground here. We have it. Start digging. Let's see. Yeah. Good treasure. Alright, then I'll lend you some of my staff. Show us where you want us to dig. Now, call me crazy. But I'm not gonna set any staff. I'm going to ignite this bomb. And we're going to wedge ourselves right here in the nose of this, like, jet. And they will dig here. With this, we should have key to sector 5. Awesome. Now I can go back into Midgar, which is doubly awesome, even though it's under martial law. Now, we go ahead and take off and turn right around, and Midgar is just around the corner. Here it is. Still got that big cannon, even though it's useless now. And we're going to go in after a quick random battle. Crappy loot and crappy experience. Now let's go ahead and head to Midgar. We can only enter Sector 5, and remember, that's Eris' home. Sector 5. Even though the door says Sector 7, we can still get in. That's funny. Did I drop the key to this gate somewhere? Was it when I was on that tour, that excave, ex blah, 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 excavation tour? Indeed you did, buddy. And that's ours now, sucker! Mwah! <laughs> now just go ahead, dogs barking, sorry if you heard that, and head into Sector 5. There's the church. It's been forever. Let's go ahead and check in. D is that Eris? Oh my god, that's Eris. She's alive. Holy... It was a ghost. The church is haunted now. I I'm not sticking around any longer. Just, I, I, I thought I'd go ahead and show you that. It's like, I don't know what to call it. It's not an Easter egg. I guess it is, in a way. Well, either way, let's go ahead and head up to Wall Market. Everybody's still kind of like talking about what happened above the plate with the cannon and everything. So we don't necessarily need to worry about that. I mean, we don't even need to worry about any of the random battles here. We could literally one-shot everything. It doesn't matter if we're like level 20. We can still do it. I mean, look at this. Remember this house? Remember how it gave us a little trouble? Die! One-shotted. So easy. And the loot is even worse here. It used to be like quite a little bit of money, but now it's nothing. It used to be a little bit of experience. Now, it's hardly anything. So let's go ahead over here. Go up here. This park is still trashed. Sector 7 is still under a plate. Go up here to Wall Market. You'd be surprised why I'm going here. It's been a while, too. Hey, all please stay here. Sorry, pal. Now, notice that item shop there? We're going in there. After, of course, I get Tifa in the party. I'm also leaving Sin the party, because something particularly funny happens if you have them both in the party. Let's inve inspect this machine. I don't know if I did it before, but if you did it before, it would shoot at you. Huh? Let me see that. Jeez, Sid. You kicked it. It should work now. Go on, try and use it now. Boom! Sid, what did you do? Don't get mad. You'll just get more wrinkles. Hey, something's coming out. Received premium heart. Now, it's funny because Tifa's name is Tifa Lockhart. Anyway, that is her final weapon. As you can see. And it does 99 attack, essentially. Sweet. That particular weapon is based on 
how much limit break Tifa has when you attack with it. So, if you have a fully charged limit and you use the limit break, it's going to do a lot of damage. If she has no limit in her limit break gauge, she's going to do hardly any damage. So keep that in mind if you're going to use it. In fact, I want to see if this thing will shoot at me. Really quick. I know it's I know it's worthless, but... Beep. Blip. Oh, God. Whoa. Broken. <laughs> I, I'll never get tired of that. In fact, I always thought this was the item shop because it's an item on it. But this is the item shop. In fact, let's, let's go ahead and rip off these poor people. Hey, buddy. Whoa. Why don't you say something if you're standing there? What, don't remember me? When has it been? About, oh, I don't know, ten weeks, maybe, tops? Anyway, he still sells the same crappy crap, so let's go ahead and rip him off. I want you to buy this all materia for 1.4 million gold. I gold. Gil. Thank you. See, now I just made these people even poorer. Probably took all of their money. Now then, let's get Vincent back in the party. And now that we're done with that, there's nothing particularly useful here, but if you want something else, just go ahead and see the man who gave us the batteries. He's got something nice. And something overpriced. Oh, so you're back! I got something good for you. Why don't you buy it? You probably just found it lying around somewhere, right? I'll admit that I found it, but you may never be able to get another one like it again. How about 129,000 gil for it? What kind of price is that? Oh, alright, I'll buy it. Hey, much obliged. You'll never regret it. Received the Sneak Glove. The Sneak Glove is an accessory. And if we check it out... Uh, where is it? Um... Oh, here it is. Increases stealing rate. Now, there was a part where I mentioned you could steal this unique item off an enemy, but you only have limited time. If you use that accessory to try to steal it, you can't. And you got until like level 70 something and to steal it still, so you might want to steal it now. Yeah, I'm just saying. Now then, there's not much left to do. For right now, there's take on Ultima weapon and get Cloud's level 4 limit break. And that's pretty much it. And if we beat Ultima Weapon, there's one more area we have to explore. But otherwise, we're kind of, you know, running short on things to do before we have to take on the weapons and grind off screen. It's sad the game's coming to an end. Not rather quickly, because I mean Sephiroth's lair is going to take about like three or four parts. That's about a week's worth, actually. Well, either way, let's just get out of here. And get out of Midgar, because I don't want the police coming down on me. Make the people worse. Oh, and I guess we can take out these enemies. I mean, it's not going to hurt, right? I have to take off that cover material on Sid. It just, it just protects people too often. I mean, seriously, it's 100% cover ratio. And if he covers somebody on a lethal attack, he's gonna die, and that's, that's terrible. I don't think the mastered cover materia sells for much, though. Might just sell for one gill, and if that's the case, I'm not even gonna bother. There we go. I mean, now we got like 3.8 million gill. That is a ton of money. There's like nothing better than that. I mean, we're filthy rich. We never have to grind for money again. It's ridiculous. And random battle. It's probably just going to be somebody who's going to steal from us. A little punk. Oh, it's a couple of these things. Eh, no biggie. You can take him out easy, Vincent. In fact, that's what I want you to do. And dead. Works for us. I mean, we're so overpowered, we could just literally just pick on these enemies. And Vincent still doesn't have his level 4 limit break. How sad. We keep going. And unfortunately, if you want to see Eris' ghost again, you can't. It's a one-time thing. 
I just thought it was pretty neat. And nostalgic, in a way. Because, you know, she would attend to the flower bed, and those children are now. They're waiting for her to return, but they'll never understand that she died. And anyway, that's pretty much that. I'm going to cut the part off right here. So, guys, please remember to rate, comment, subscribe. And then the next part, well, I'm probably going to try to get a few more enemy skills. So, until then.